So this year, a funny thing happened on the way to the resurrection. Well, actually, not so funny a thing at all. It started right around Good Friday, when I happened to notice that a, the, a few of my family members they had posted these uh, these messages on their Facebook feeds, you know, talking about uh, you know there being cancer in the family. And so I had to spend a little bit of time over the Easter weekend trying to you know find out who in my family had been diagnosed with cancer, you know how bad it was how much time there was left, and what had actually turned out to be the case was that, you know, actually nobody in my family has recently been diagnosed with cancer. This was another one of these copy and paste messages that people put up on their Facebook feeds. And I honestly wish that people would just knock it off. It is the stupidest trend on that particular platform. And it just, it... It really it, it preys on it preys on the best intentions of people because people just they want to do good things. So when they read a long post about somebody struggling with you know cancer or illness in their family, and they get to the bottom and somebody asks them to copy and paste it into their you know into their Facebook feed as a show of support, they don't really stop and think twice. They just do it. They don't really stop and think about the way that these things can affect. You know, people in their Facebook feed, let alone, you know, in particular members of their family who suddenly see these things and have to start unraveling the mystery of, you know, the apparent mystery of, you know, who in the family is dying. It's not the most pleasant way to spend a holiday trying to figure out who in the family is, you know, stricken with this horrible disease. And I really, I don't blame the people that actually repost these things. I blame the idiots that originate these things. I mean, I understand that when you've got that kind of an illness in your family, you don't really think things through the most rational way. You just go looking for solace however the hell you can find it. And I guess for a lot of these people, it's just they find solace in the amount of attention that they can get off of the back of this thing. And maybe even they're not really stopping to think that every time that this thing is copied, you know, copied and then pasted into somebody else's Twitter, uh, Facebook feed, that basically you're scaring the shit out of a lot of people really needlessly. I mean, yeah, cancer is a terrible thing. Yeah, we should all be on board with, uh, you know, supporting people whose families are suffering from cancer, and we should all be on board with, uh, with trying to find a cure and all of that stuff. That's great. But these, these Facebook posts, they don't do any of that. You know, it's just kind of aimless, you know, for lack of a better phrase, you know, virtue signaling. It's a bunch of people, you know, trying to uh, try to cover themselves with trying to make other people you know basically signal the same virtues and really all that it does is it spins a lot of people's wheels and scares the shit out of a lot of these people a, a lot of people out there so really I honestly think that the people that originate these posts we should just load them onto a rocket ship and we should just shoot that fucking thing into the sun if you're thinking about, uh, you know, if, if you have a situation like this in your family, hey, I've got plenty of empathy for you, but don't deal with it this way. And if you come across one of those things on your Facebook feed, don't encourage these people by copying and pasting it. Knock it off. Cut the shit out.